Michael, over the weekend, President Trump signed an executive order banning entry of non-American citizens from seven Muslim-majority countries, now one of which is Sudan, the home of Bucks rookie Thon Maker. The Bucks are reportedly concerned about how this will affect Maker and his ability to travel with the team. Michael, can you offer any clarity on this situation? Well, Ryan, we know that this is a topic that's changing by the moment. We know that the Department of Homeland Security Sunday night modified the implementation of the executive order so that those who are permanent residents, those with green cards, are able to leave and return to the United States. At least that's the presumption. But for someone like Don Maker, who, as you noted, is originally from Sudan, but if he remains a citizen of Sudan, he would be subject to the possibility of leaving the United States to go play the Toronto Raptors or traveling home uh, and not being able to reenter the U.S. He'd, have, he'd be judged on a case-by-case -case basis because Sudan is one of the countries that's prohibited from having immigration with the United States over the next 90 days, and the 90 days could be extended. That isn't a set-in-stone time. So I can imagine the NBA, the Bucks, certainly Thon Maker, are concerned about these rapid changes that – have occurred really on the fly, and I think that teams, among many others, have not had really a sufficient amount of time to study how the rules are going to change travel. It puts them in a very awkward position where they have to worry not about being deported, but about being deemed inadmissible, meaning if they leave the U.S., difficulty getting back in. So we'll have to see how it turns out, but, but when rules change suddenly without notice, even even the government officials don't know how to implement them. So it, it could be a confusing period in the days and weeks ahead.